Hi, welcome to Excel Video 55. Today we're looking at some monthly collections data for 2007, 8, 9, and 10. We've got some random data here that's calculating, and we're going to look at the next conditional formatting rule for this data. So if we go to conditional formatting, a new rule, we're looking now at format only values that are above and below average, and there are a couple of different options. You can do above and below, equal or above, equal and below. So let's just pick months that are above average just because. We'll put a format to them, an easy one, and click OK. And it will show me everything that's above average. I've got uh, the mean down here, so 423,000. And it's doing a pretty good job of picking up and highlighting those cells that are above the mean. You can do the very same thing with, we're going to manage the rule instead and edit the rule that's out there and there's the one that's above average. You could do below, equal to or below, equal to or above and all that. If you do one standard deviation above or below, you know, typically um, one standard deviation above or below is going to take up, you know, somewhere around two-thirds of your data. Two standard deviations above or below ought to be 95 percent of your data and three ought to be like 99.7 or, you know, almost all your data ought to be within three standard deviations, assuming it's randomly distributed, and this data is using Excel's random function, so it's pretty randomly distributed. So if you do three standard deviations below, and we'll just change the format to make it different, and click OK, and OK, and we'll OK here. It, um, watch that carefully, because this is the first time in all these Excel videos that I think Excel is doing something that's up in the night, that I don't understand, and I think it looks like a bug to me. Here is the range. The range is running between 100,000 and 700,000 is the way I've got it programmed. Conditional formatting, I'll let you look at the rule. Three standard deviations below average is what it's highlighting. You click OK. So here's the mean for all this data, 423,000. Here's the standard deviation for B4015, and you can see that there's the formula, there's the average formula that's getting B4015, there's standard deviation B4015. So all these formulas are doing here is taking, well, one standard deviation away in this data is 264,000, two is 105,000, and to get three standard deviations away, you got to go negative. But Excel's formatting stuff that is, you know, one standard deviation away even though I'll show you one more time. Manage rules. Three standard deviations below average. You can edit the rule and see it again. Three standard deviations below. And I'm here to tell you that three standard deviations below based on Excel's very own calculations. Here's the formula. B17, take the mean, less three standard deviations are in B18. The stuff that's in blue ought to be negative numbers, but instead it only looks like one standard deviation below. So something a little unique in an Excel video today. I think the, there is, something's up with Excel because the, these are pretty straightforward formulas here. They're all the same thing. A random number between 100 and 700,000 is the way it's set up. And it's formatting three standard. It's formatting in blue stuff that's supposedly three standard deviations below, but it looks to me like it's only one. Anybody's got any good ideas on this one, I'd love to see a comment or feedback back. Bottom line for me is at this stage, when I use, let's just manage it again, and edit rule. When I use format only values that are above or below average, this stuff works. This standard deviation stuff be a little careful with. I'd love to see uh, an answer if somebody knows what's going on in Excel. But for the time being, that's our Excel video for today. Thanks for watching.